The following is a semi-professional... Ah, fuck it, read it yourself. Welcome back to Nihau Hollow. Sorry, we're playing a little bit fast. Our buddy Bag of Noodles came in and uh, decided to give us a hand with uh, populating a match for Rabbit. Is this 1v1 right now? It's 1v1 right now. Um, which, the good news about that is I get to test my skills against Noodles. The bad news about that is I have to test my skills against Noodles. <laughs> uh, fuck! Oh! You gotta lead him! Yeah, I am leading him. <laughs> uh. Ooh, you gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> oh, man, man, he is gone. He is fucking... He's one of the best Pathfinders in the clan. Yeah. And even he has bad days, you know what I mean? But, yeah. like, today is apparently not fucking one of them. <laughs> you fuck... So, uh... I love you, but god damn it, no, don't blue plate special me. When you can, uh... You should explain Rabbit again in case people didn't watch the first episodes of Tribes. As soon as you're able to and not go... Basically, everybody in, uh... Huh. This is Capture the Flag. Uh, but there is one flag in the center that everybody it's more is like, trying to get. It's more like Oddball from Halo. Where you have to hold it. I, yeah. I was going to get to that point. Okay. Uh, and you hold it, and your allegiance changes, and you just gotta hold it for a certain amount of time. And he who holds it wins. And currently, Noodles is at 9 of the 30 points required. You get points every time you get a kill as the rabbit, and you get a point every time you kill the rabbit. Fucking shit! More, of course, for the uh, former rather than the latter. Yeah. But... Well, and then you get the benefit of being able to pick up the flag and be the new rabbit. Yeah. Which is a benefit in the loosest sense. <laughs> oh come on, god damn it, you and your fucking boost pack. <laughs> oh boy, he is uh he, he is, is truly just got, he's out of ammo too. <laughs> like he just used his fucking assault rifle to try he's and just, he's just good at dodging. He is one with the dodge. Alright. Might, <laughs> might be new meta time. Oh god. Alright. More ammo. We're gonna try and nitro on this uh, this guy. Oh, now he's even farther away. No, you fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Uh... Oh! <laughs> I was right underneath him. Damn it! What you're all seeing right now is uh, Neo just coming just a bitsy bitsy, just a little pinky short each time. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> we could have kissed. He totally tricked you. Oh shit! Scratching back. Oh god! Oh, the mic is right in my face too. I should probably. Do you back. need me to move it? No, it's it's fine. I just need to fucking lean back. Oh, a bit. oh you're god! Into intense mode. Yeah, I'm all like leaning forward and shit into the mic, and it's all fucking acting weird. It's okay, you office. Stop yawning. Nope. Can't. I would try my involuntary actions, but they are involuntary. No, oh, you fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I, I love listening to you be sad sometimes. <laughs> Not in anything but video games, but it's man. He is totally like fucking with you at this point. Yeah, I know. What a douche. <laughs> oh, where is he? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Got him! Well, let's see how long you uh, can make this happen. Not long enough. Absolutely not long enough. Run, run, little rabbit. Fly, 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 fly. Oh, there was the first Nitron. Here comes the second one! Fuck! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Huh, four. That is exceptionally lower than 22. Shut your whore mouth! <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this time you'll, like, get him and not the first time. I hit like, him that time. Yes, but see how the flag icon is still just quite out of your grasp. Oh, my. Oh, once again. Am I helping? No! <laughs> 
Oh, 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 oh! Remember how I said winning's an attitude? So was murder! <laughs> I just... Oh, oh, way, way overshot. I am gonna stab you! <laughs> Man, it's it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome how he knows to stop when you're accelerating and you just zoom right past. He's really good at that. <laughs> Do you think he'll watch this episode? Uh probably. <laughs> he'll probably masturbate to it. Like, oh man, remember that time I crushed Neil on film? Yeah, that was good! <laughs> Maybe we'll get the more hits on YouTube because we'll post it to the clan page and people might enjoy watching you suffer as they enjoyed watching me suffer on X-Blades. Still currently our top grossing video. <laughs> wow. Uh, you gonna try and do another one and see if other people join? I'm gonna or? make sure that he knows that I want to rematch. Oh, you're gonna rematch? You wanna keep it on the same reel? Yeah. 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 All right, everybody. Uh, no, 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 we're 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 just gonna like we're not gonna cut the episode. We're just gonna do too long of these. Unless. Oh, all right. Do you want Do you want me to cut it? I can, no, we fuck can it. Do, okay. All right, everybody. I love how we uh, explain behind the scenes shit to everybody. I'm not saying that sarcastically. Fuck you, people. Let's plays can be hard to do. You get to see some behind the scenes shit. Yeah, where we switch maps. Oh, are you, you're talking about, like, cut the episodes and shit like that? Oh, yeah, no, no. I mean, I feel like Yahtzee talks about that shit all the time. Yeah, he totally does. Uh, we're talking about Yahtzee Kershaw, of course, uh, who has his own YouTube channel, uh, Let's Drown Out, I think is what he calls it. Zero Punctuation is the little of his review show that is excellent. Yes. He's hypercritical, though. Uh, do not watch him if you get mad easily on a game you like. Or Although he did fucking totally give Undertale Game of the Year, where we highly disagree with that, so... I... yeah, man. I... I got nothing, like, I'm never I'm never one to shit on something that people enjoy, uh, even if it's something along the lines of Twilight, where people say shit like, It's obviously bad! Hey, man, let people enjoy things, is how I believe. Yeah. I just... I didn't care for it, I thought it was uh, too much hype that type of game. Note specifically that I said I highly disagreed, not that that is strictly false. Oh, no, yeah. I, I there, think that's there's what, a difference between the two. I think that's what people often mistake, you know what I mean? You say, I don't like this, and they go, let me tell you why you're wrong. Like, hey man, it's just my opinion, and uh, I reserve the right to be wrong about it, but, you know, if I don't like something... Damn it. It's not like you berating me is gonna make me go, oh yeah, I see it now, Fuck I you. totally enjoy Undertale now. I can discuss the points. I mean, I'll say it. I said it once. I'll say it again. Undertale is Earthbound reskinned, and not with, even with dodging mechanics. Not even. Oh, oh, that sucked, didn't it? Earthbound was just Earthbound was a JRPG that had neat, not even new mechanics at the time. Just it was popular and it was released in an interesting I got way. Kill credit for it? What? <laughs> I mean, it had the whole release with the uh, with the guide to play it. That was why it had the big box. Um, that was the whole point behind that. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, run that by me again. I was in the zone. Oh, sorry. When uh. When Earthbound was sold for the SNES, it was in a larger box because it included the, basically, the the strategy guide. <laughs> Remember oh. when video games had strategy guides? So, any younger viewers, a strategy guide for... Oh, fucking really? <laughs> yeah. <hey. laughs> You're going to explain this? Dude, my sister and her friends watch our show now, and she is, uh... Oh, you uh, actually did get that magic to happen? I did. They, uh, they said we're funnier than PewDiePie, but not funnier than Markiplier. Oh, fuck off! Yeah, I know. I <laughs> but anyway, uh, a strategy guide was a paper... Yes. Oh, shit! Son of a bitch! Fucking goddamn it! Yes, a paper <laughs> a guide that helped you play the game. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> it would have not necessarily cheats, but it would just... Fuck! ...be things like, hey, this is the map. Hey, these are the items that are found in this map. And so on and so forth, because back then there was not the internet. Uh, when you 
when you wanted to I play mean, I games... I mean, I remember the old Prima strategy guides. Was it like one of those that was in Earthbound, or...? Uh, it was a Nin Nintendo Power-esque strategy guide. Oh, God. And those so were, the box... Those were never so the, really very good. Yeah, so the box that the game came in was the size of, you know, a full paperback strategy guide with the game. Uh, and then if you go back even further in Nintendo history... Nintendo used to have hotlines on the back of their game cartridges. It was the Nintendo hotline. It cost real money to call, and they would assist you with the game. Oh my god. If you got stuck on a part. They are geniuses. Yep. Aren't they? It was called the Nintendo Help Hotline. I vaguely remember seeing that. Yeah. I never called it, though. I always uh, figured oh, it no, out. Oh, no, I never did either, but I remember the one time hearing somebody talk about it, and they said, yep, it's actual money, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? God damn it, he's a fucking wizard. <laughs> I will admit that I bought several strategy guides for games before the internet was big because, and even when the internet first started, there was not, I mean, gaming still wasn't as big as it was this time when it was at its growth in the 90s uh, and 2000s, early 2000s, so you had to, if you wanted to know something, I remember I bought a lot for Mortal Kombat to learn how to do all the fatalities and shit. Uh, I feel like the fatalities were the reason to get strategy guides. It, it was, early. especially in the newer Mortal Kombat's where there was banalities and all that silly shit, and there was no way to... <laughs> Friendship, again? Yep. And there was no unlocking that shit, it was you either fucking figured it out or had somebody tell you. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn, he is a fucking wizard. Oh, if only you were better at leading. Yeah, that's why I own a clan on the on the uh, <laughs> on the internet. I'm the shit leader. <laughs> hey, man, at least your players are great, you know. Right? I'll just fucking suck <laughs> on the teat of having good constituents and hope that nobody tries to fucking take my clan from me. Hey, man, like. I no, mean, I got no, no rules on saying that the leader has to be the best. This is an old, you know, dynasty. Ha! <laughs> this is an old dynasty rules for uh, being the leader of something. Let's face it, Leonardo was not the best turtle. He was just the best leader. What are you talking about right now? Leonardo was a fucking inventor and a painter. Ninja Turtles. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, he wasn't a fucking turtle at all. What the hell are you? Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, 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 I know of which you refer. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other examples. The shit, any fucking mostly general. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for the speed boost, Noodles! <laughs> oh my. Oh my, oh god damn it! Oh wow. Uh huh. Thanks for the speed boost into this fucking palm. I love the little view of the flag. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh no. No no. No, none of that oh, bullshit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. <sighs> Damn. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. And, uh, uh, d -d 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 oh, wait, is there more people? Yeah, my, oh, uh, that's finally. my brother, for anybody that cares, uh, that just joined. I I hope Noodles told him he was being recorded on the show. We're not recording audio, of course, so... Who, uh, uh, who else is that? There's is it's, there four it's, now? It's just Noodles and... Uh, oh, your brother. brother. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Fucking hell. I love it when I get to the guys who just as it fucking stops. <laughs> that's fucking, that's my life. <laughs> yeah, money fountain! Oh, it's all dried up! <laughs> Tyler has more than once described his life as, if, let's say there was a cake, and it had everything you loved in it. Money, sex, power... Enjoyment. That sounds like an awesome cake. Yeah, exactly. And Tyler's like, oh, hey, can I have some of that cake? And somebody inevitably asks him, well, no, just take out this trash. We'll save you a piece. And lo and behold, he comes back. There is no cake to be had. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
or the cake wasn't cake at all. It was just paper towels with uh, icing on top of it. Oh, nice. It takes a big bite. Ooh. <laughs> no. No. Oh, wow. Is Drew totally trying to vulture you? Can you blame him? <laughs> uh -oh. You were about to get flanked. Yeah, yeah. you got flanked. Well, look at that. I got vultured. Anyway. No hate. It's part of the game. Unfortunately, Drew is not a better Pathfinder than Noodles. Should we call him Askey? Or do you think we'll care? It's I too mean, late now. It's first name only. That's true. If yeah. anybody knows me, they know he's on Facebook. I guess that's very true. If he doesn't want his privacy to be invaded, he knows how to use that fucking unsubscribe button. Or, or not the unsubscribe button, the fucking uh, deny friend request button. If he's like, who the fuck is this? Then they'll fucking... They'll fucking just hit deny friend request. Yeah. Alright. Or we'll just refer to him as ASCII this entire time and bleep the uh, other name. You have no idea how hard that is to do. Yeah, well, I'll shut the fuck up then. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! <laughs> you have no idea how hard that is to do. Ah, uh, yeah, because you got to find the sound bit. Yep. Well, I'm not doing that. That is too much goddamn work. Sorry, Drew, if you feel like your privacy's been violated. Pretty sure Noodles told you you're going to be recorded. Pretty sure we've already talked about this before in terms of, like, people streaming. God damn it! Well, at least I didn't get skunked this time. Oh, Noodles won. Do you want to do one more rematch with the three of you? Yeah, now that there's three of us. Okay. Fuck it, let it keep running. Okay. And, uh, you can ask him right now as the match loads up. Oh, you could probably even turn Steam up for this one. Nah. Nah, fuck Because I don't want to get messages from other people. By the by, nondescripts, if you, if you just absolutely hate the way we're doing this, or you think this is silly, like, please let us know. As always, keep all hate in the comments, but we will change if need be. Uh, this is our first go at this type of Let's Play. We're uh, fucking... Uh, well, crucify us if you will for trying something new but by god we're gonna try something new right so it doesn't even say that Drew is playing right now so either he quit or which is possible nope he's there okay this is actually my favorite match favorite map to play uh, rabbit oh, cool. on this is the first map I ever played rabbit on in fact so did you just ask if uh, they know they're being recorded or no, I just said that I wanted to do one more with everybody. Okay. They have to know, because... I mean, I told Noodles, and Noodles is pretty vocal about that kind of shit, because he used to stream, and I, I made a huge stink when uh, he started streaming, because uh, I was like, hey, man, uh, respect our privacy, let us know that you're recording, uh, make sure that you tell us before you start recording, before you start broadcasting, etc., so that we can go to first names only, etc., because I feel like, yeah, I yeah. Know, if I'm paranoid about anything, it's it's fucking cockroaches, bed bugs, and privacy. <laughs> Which is another, if anybody out there is wanting to do a... Yeah! Wow. Anybody out there doing Let's Plays or any streaming, uh, always respect your friend's privacy. And, you know. Yeah. And we're talking about this now, but obviously after the episode, we went and cleared everything through the channels that we might have missed any holes before in what we're doing now. No. Because that's nothing to joke about. That was almost awesome. That was almost awesome, too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Where's Drew? Oh, Ooh, fuck. Yeah. Uh. Moving, moving, moving. That's what I get for not looking. <laughs> How can you see behind yourself, nanites? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are in a fucking uh, super futuristic world. So. Yeah, it's the grim darkness of the far future where there's only war. Oh, we just. <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn it! God, I love Warhammer. <laughs> I mean, we talked about playing it on the show. 
Uh, I would totally love to play it on the show, either Dawn of War or Space Marine. I feel like I should be the person playing because I'm not as uh, well versed in Warhammer as you are. I could definitely describe the lore out pretty hardcore. Um, I definitely, there's a new Warhammer game coming out, I don't know if it has where it takes place in the fantasy, and it's kind of Dawn of War-esque, but it's the fantasy realm, and RTS. Uh, there is actually a new Dawn of War coming out. Dawn of War 3 was just announced. And Mordenheim is out too, where it's actually kind of first-person shooter-esque and you play as a human and you're fighting the Skaven army. Uh, looks pretty cool. You remember- actually, I should ask if Noodles has played that at all. You remember, um... And there's also Eternal Crusade, but that game is too far alpha to be fun or enjoyable. Do you recall a game that I gave you a long time ago called I Divine Cybermancy? Yes. Okay, Strimon Studios. Uh huh. They're doing uh, the Warhammer uh, Deathwing. Oh shit! Awesome. Yeah. That game looks great. Yeah. So like, as long as nobody lets them touch the transcript for it, uh, it'll be good. Because there's a a line that I'm pretty sure you haven't experienced yet. um, That's English as fuck. In. Strumon's I Divine Cybermancy, which is a great game, by the way. Uh, holy shit, as I open up Steam to go and like look up these things, Dawn of War 3 is uh, flying high and proud here on the Steam store. Ow. Fuck, those are my legs. I need those. I mean, only kind of need them, but I need them. Which is fucking amazing that that is getting released. Okay. Huh. And the uh, publisher is still Sega. Fucking crazy. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something, and then I got fucking caught up in the zone. You were talking about the company that makes it. Uh, Strimon, yes, Strimon Studios. Um, in I Divine Cybermancy, and I don't feel like this is a huge spoiler, there is a scene in which you talk to uh, one of the other characters in the game, and he tells you because you're trying to figure out what your uh, orders are for the uh-huh. fucking... No? Yeah! Um, he tells you what your orders are because you're trying to... You're on this fucking facility and there's like auto turrets and shit. And uh, he says uh, something like in destroy the most embarrassing turrets is what, he's, is what he actually says in the game. Or something like that. And, like, every time Drew and I played it, we were just like, what the fuck is he talking about? Most embarrassing turrets? He's talking about the obvious ones? Like, what what are we talking about? And then uh, you find out that that's just by virtue of the fact that the character doesn't speak English. Uh, Oh. (laughs) But it's like, there's another scene in it that just made me want to cringe every time I heard it. Uh... Ow. comes jump kick. <laughs> oh, Death Watch is out. Fuck. I thought it was still... Death Watch? Why does that sound familiar? Is that the one that's basically Left for Dead 2? But, uh... Uh, Warhammer Fantasy? No, uh, Death Watch is the uh, Warhammer 40k. And for people who don't know too much about Warhammer, uh, there's two universes, basically, in Warhammer. Warhammer is the Fantasy Realm Warhammer 40,000 is the futuristic one. Uh, They exist through the lore, I'm pretty sure, still, and they're kind of in the same plane, kind of. And not that there's a fantasy world happening in a futuristic world, but they're in the same sort of meta-universes. But And there's a particular type called Space Hulk, and that's what it is. No, it is the... It's supposed to be the first-person shooter uh, Space Hulk game. Is it Death Watch or Death Wing? Death Watch. Oh, that's right. Death Wing is the new one. Because there was supposed to be, like, Death Wing, I think, also. And that was the one that was being developed by Stremon. Yeah, there is a... God, there is a shitload of games coming out. Well, that's what fucking Sega does. Hey, give it to them for fucking still trying to be a viable company and doing third-party shit. Oh, no, no, no. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not shitting on Sega at all with this. I'm just saying, like, they fucking ran Sonic into the ground, 
they, uh, they really yeah. can't do that with Warhammer as long as they let Games Workshop maintain the fucking creative licensing and the Game, storyline. Games Workshop would never, like, let their fist go on that. That is the one thing I will say about Games Workshop as the evil corporation it is. Uh, <laughs> you can you can always rest assured that the lore will be, for the most part, pretty uh, fucking steadfast and unchanging. It is. Yeah. That's why I really enjoyed Space Marine. I mean, yeah, there's some holes in lore, but Ow, at, at this point, uh, that's another thing I hate about some... Um, Warhammer fanboys is they'll point out they're like oh man this contradicts this it's like they've, they've had over 30 years of fucking content like yeah if you pull from very far sides of different books you're gonna find goddamn hang ups there aren't that many in my opinion that have kept me from enjoying the game but another thing that uh, upsets me about Warhammer fanboys is oh man this is fucking stupid look at this shit fuck you GW uh, but hey, uh, did you buy the new model set? Oh, totally. <laughs> 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 Fucking totally. <laughs> well, it's, uh, there's a pretty, I'm pretty sure there's a joke there somewhere of... Oh, God damn it! Man, what's the most annoying thing about Warhammer? It's fans. Uh... I disagree, actually. I, I'm not saying that for real, but that's just like a, an old trope joke that's used a lot. Fuck. I'm not gonna get back to that in time. I definitely will say their fans are some of the most passionate. It's also something where... Fuck! Uh, Warhammer is another one of those things where there are a ton of fans and a lot of people who quote the lore and love the lore that have never even like you know touched a game or read a book. Uh, but I am I am not a fan per se, but I have quoted a lot of Warhammer stuff. I think the most common you hear is "Blood for the Blood God, Skulls for the Skull Throne." That is a Warhammer uh, trope all the way. Oh god damn it! And then Fudge comes online. <sighs> I don't want to do another one. Nope, nope. See you later, nondescripts.